Okay, this is a super quick introduction to Go Tool Trace, how you can create a trace file and how to view it. So let's start by just creating a very simple Go file. So I'm going to say main.go, just call it package main, and I'm going to import some stuff. So we're going to import OS because we're going to create a file. We're going to import format because I'm just going to make this file print out the word hello so this is a hello world and more interestingly we're going to import runtime trace and this program is just going to have one function called main. First thing we do is create our trace file so for that we just use the ordinary create call and we're going to call this trace.out you can call it whatever you want, but we're going to call it trace.out, which is just convention. This should give us an F, which is our file handle, but we should check if not. So if error is not nil, then well, let's just panic. Next, what we do is pass that file handle to the trace system to start tracing. So we say trace.start with that file handle. Again, that can error, so we should check whether that errored. It won't. And we'll panic with that error again. Now, we're going to do some stuff so your program can now do whatever it wants. We're just going to do format.print line hello. All right, so that's our whole program. What we do need to do is some kind of uh, shutting down stuff. So what we're going to do here is defer stopping the trace. And up here, what we should do is defer closing that file. So those two things will happen in opposite order. So your program is going to create that file. It's going to start tracing to it. Then your main program stuff will run. And then at the end, we will stop tracing and then we will close the file. That's it. So let's save that file. And go run that file. Okay, so that ran. It says hello. We ha now have two files. We have our trace.out that we just created. Now you want to view that. And we, for that, we use go tool trace, which takes one argument, which is that file. Now what that did, if you go back to here, it's now still running and it started a web server and it opened it for us. That opened that here in Chrome for me and it gives you a load of options. The most interesting one or the one that we're looking at here is this view trace. So click on view trace and you get this nice visualization of that run of your program. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, the interesting things for us are perhaps this heap where you can see that it allocated something like 180 kilobytes. Uh, you can see the number of Go routines at any particular time. Mainly for the main run of this, it's just one because we didn't start any more Go routines than just the main thread. So, corresponding to that, we have some threads which uh, Go has started in order to run our Go routines, and you've got what would be a huge amount of events in here, but for us it's very small because our program didn't do anything. The main one is just runtime.main. That corresponds to the call to our main function. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That's a kind of lightning tour of GoToolTrace. If you read our blog post, you'll see in a lot more detail what else you can do with GoToolTrace. That's it.